hi guys welcome back to my channel so today guys i will show you how to make a jacket dress with no collar so if that is something you're interested in learning or knowing how to make do keep on watching and if this is your first time on my channel please subscribe join the family okay to start off i'll be starting with my original body's plan i traced out my original body's plan on this paper right here if you do not know how to make an how to make a basic bodice do let me know in the comment section and i'll have a tutorial up where i get to show you how to make a basic bodice plan okay so this is my front plan traced out on this paper and i ensure to give a few inches extension on the paper from that center front line that is because we will be modifying this pattern to suit the style that we are going for okay at this point, I'm just marking 5 inches outwards. I'll be extending that center front line by 5 inches from my waistline all the way downwards. And that is what you see me marking. I am just marking 5 inch points from that center front line. Once that is done, I'll be moving over to my shoulder and I'll be just mark how deep I want the neckline to be since we'll be making an overlap dress. I'm just going to mark how deep I want that neckline to be. And for me, I use 15 inches, but if you want to go deeper, feel free. If you want to go higher and play it safe, feel free as well. So next, I'll be extending that point, that 15 inch spot outwards by 5 inch basically the same way i've been marking five inch points all the way before then i'll be connecting it to those five inch marks or five inch spots that i marked out earlier and i'll be drawing it with a straight line or connecting with a straight line like so then once that is done you should have something like a rectangle on the lower part of your basic bodice depending on where you start your measurements from okay next up i'll be connecting my neckline along that shoulder line at the edge of this shoulder line to that 15 inch point that we just extended outwards by five inch and that is to create my new neckline so i'm just going to connect from that shoulder line up till the uh, 15 inch point where we just marked and that would create the neckline while the lower part would create the overlap effect for this piece so guys i just realized that my lines look really really faint and i am so sorry i had no idea just pardon me please pardon me okay once that is done i'll be moving over to my dad i'm just going to mark four inches and this is basically my nipple to nipple measurement i have my basic dart drawn out already so what i'm going to do i'm just going to mark that four inch point on my hip line and at the bottom of this pattern i'm just going to mark four inches and connect it to that center dart line using a straight line okay so once that is done we have our lower dart or the body of the dart yeah the lower dart ready then i'll be moving over to my armhole and this is because i am making a princess dart so yeah i'm making a princess dart okay so i'm just going to mark half of that armhole line where the armhole actually touches the bust line i'm going to mark half of that measurement and divide it yeah half of that measurement which is 4.5 and that is what i have marked out then i'll be connecting it to that center that line so don't know that for this armhole i'm not taking any measurement on either side of that that line on the armhole for in regular princess that you normally take half inch on either side of that upper that line that starts from the armhole and connect it to your waistline but i won't be doing any of that for this tutorial okay that is because i do not want any tightening or contouring along that armhole line but if you do feel free to modify your dart basically the same way you want okay so this is my dart already and yeah it's all ready to go so guys do note that a regular princess that has an extension of one inch on that arm hole basically because when you sew it tends to be shorter so that one inch extension has to like 
you know, avoid the side of the front piece being shorter. And I f literally forgot to do that. Do not be like me. Make sure to extend your armhole by one inch. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about when I move over, move over to the back bodice plan. Okay. So this is my back bodice plan. You see that that armhole is extended by one inch. So what I'll be doing for the front plan is I'll be extending it by one inch when I am cutting it out on the fabric. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is to cut out this front panel or this front plan. And yeah, I'm just going to cut this out and show you guys what it looks like. So after cutting it out, you can see the neckline. It's quite deep. But if you want something deeper, like I said, you f do feel free to go deeper. So after cutting off the dots, yeah, the outer sides or the sides of the front plan, this is what it looks like. So this pattern is just basically three inches below my hip line, but I do want a dress. So when I am cutting on fabric, I'll be extending this pattern downwards or increasing the length rather by about 15 to 17 inches. Yeah, I'll be increasing this pattern length by 17 inches just to suit what I am going for, okay? So this is the back plan all laid out. You can see that I extended that armhole by one inch like I showed you earlier. And the center back will be cut into two. I'll be cutting two pieces for the center back because I want the back to have a center joining. But if you do not want that, just cut your fabric on fold. Cut your center back fabric on fold. But I'll be cutting two pieces of each of these persons, okay? Two for the center back and two for the side back. That's one for the left and one for the right. So this is the fabric I will be using for this project. And I'm just going to cut up my patterns on, yeah, I'm just going to use my patterns to cut up my fabric, basically. Ensuring to extend the length by 17 inches, just so it's a gown. But if you want a jacket or something, you can basically use your main body's block. It's totally fine. So this is my center front, or this is the front, yeah, the center front of my, um, dress you can see that it's extended downwards or the, it's, the length is extended because I want it to be a dress and I ensure to add half an inch all the way around it for seam allowance so I have two pieces of each as you can see one for the left and one for the right and I extended that armhole by one inch you know I said I was going to do that when I eventually cut it out on my fabric and this is my back fabric or my back pieces. I cut two of each pattern as well. One for the left and one for the right. But if you do not want a center back joining, feel free to cut your center back on fold, okay? So I ex added half an inch seam allowance all the way around and I extended it by 17 inches as well. So to cut out the lining, I'll marking three inches around that neckline the back neckline i'll be marking three inches from that neckline all the way around it and for the front part i'll be marking three inches from that um, bottom from the bottom all the way to the neckline all the way to the shoulder and i'm doing this basically because i do not have intentions of fixing a collar on this piece that is why i'm doing this so after marking three inches all the way around i just went ahead to cut it out so this is the front piece so when i lay on my front pieces like this so these are all my front lining pieces the outer piece will be cut with the main fabric while the two other pieces will be cut using the lining fabric I did this basically because I do not want any lining showing out of the body or the front center front of the dress. So that is why I'm using the main fabric for the outer part of the lining and the lining for the two inner parts. Back piece, that small upper part will be cut using the main fabric while the two other bigger parts will be cut using the lining fabric. Remember I said I'm doing this because I am not fixing a collar for this piece, okay? So when I cut out 
the light the pieces for the main fabric i'll be infusing gum stay to it or color stay just so it's firm and stable and just gives that front part a little bit more structure okay so these are all my front lining pieces all my front lining pieces i have two of each okay so i'm just going to iron fusible gum stay to that main fabric lining before attaching it to the other lining part so this is my main fabric the back part of my main fabric all sewn up and this is the front part of my main fabric all sewn up i literally just joined the that i joined all the pieces along the dart lines okay so after joining those dart lines together i'll be joining the shoulder of the main fabric together and once i join the shoulder i'll go ahead and take my body measurement and yeah so after taking my body, me body measurement sorry this is what it looks like it's all joined up so don't know that i'm anything i'm doing i'm doing the same thing on the lining fabric anything i do on the main fabric i'm doing it on the lining fabric the only difference is that that outer part of the lining fabric has a uh, fusible gum stay or collar stay so this is my lining fabric all pieces joined together you can see that that fabric part of the line has fusible gum stay to it and i basically joined the shoulder as well as the body measure body sides or the sides basically the same way i did for the front so next up i'll be placing my main fabric right sides facing me and i'm just ensuring that it's nice and flat then i'll be placing the lining fabric right on top that main fabric right sides facing okay so when you do this you want to ensure that you place them right sides facing so and you also want to ensure that all the stitches like all the joinings are aligned so you want to ensure that all the dark joinings are aligned properly all the side joinings are aligned properly the back um joining uh, the center back joining is aligned the shoulder everything the back neckline is aligned properly so what i'm going to do is to sew around that um sew around it ensuring to hold the main fabric to the line fabric okay but first instead of i'll join the hem of this and just you know turn it right sides out so after doing that, I'm just going to turn it right sides out from the main, from the armhole rather. So you see, I made tiny little notches. This is basically because I wanted to lay really flat and really nice. Okay. So I'm just turning it right sides out from the armhole. And I have the armhole open because I will be inserting or stitching a sleeve down there or yeah, attaching a sleeve down there. So after turning it right sides out, this is what it looks like. You see how neat, like you see how neat it is. All the seams are concealed. All the seams are concealed. It looks really neat. And this is the front part. And this is the front look. As you can see, it's really, really neat. And that is the armhole right there. So what I'm going to do next is to go attach my armhole and you know stitch down my button holes as well as my buttons and i'll show you guys what it looks like real real soon this is it after the sleeves and buttons have all been sewn down it's giving me vibes guys you guys don't know how much i love this dress i never expected it to come out this good so yeah i actually have a belt tied on i made a belt out of the fabric as well i have it tied on at this point so yeah guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already join the family okay so see you in my next video bye Bye.